you said that Donovan McNabb screwed your whole NFL career. What right. do you mean by that? I mean, you know, it's funny, man. And the older you get and, the, and when you realize and look at things, success is situational, man. And, and, I, and I was never put in the right situation to succeed. You know, uh, the ability was there. I obviously got drafted first round. I uh, have many records at UCLA, um, broken broken many records at UCLA. And it's just that success is situational. But when I know that somebody is not throwing me the ball, on purpose and and I know that you know they're being vindictive and 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 keeping food from you know your family it, it you 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 feel a different way what was it personally should I say between and you and that's I feel like he he had an axe grind with you I I think though and it's not to a Terrell Owens level, but he hated that people love uh, me more than him. He hated that they didn't boo me in the first round. He hated that they don't show him the different love, even though he's a quarterback and he gets all the love. It's just there. He did not want anybody to be uh, on, on the top of the totem pole. He it wanted he wanted his, his face. He was the face of the team. He wanted it all him. And it sucked because nobody got love. Um except, you know, some of the defensive players, but nobody was allowed to get love and show their true personality. So let me ask you this. How, had you not had the, the, the issues that you had with Donovan McNabb, how far do you think you would have gone in your career? What did that cost you? Uh, you know, I think it, 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 it had to cost me at least between 20 to $40 million. It cost me a second contract, you know?